Hello guys, uh, today I will show how to create a free multi vendor marketplace on your WordPress website. So first of all you need to install a plugin called WooCommerce from your plugin section. Just click on the add new button. Now search WooCommerce. And click on the install now button to start installing and activate the plugin so after installing WooCommerce uh, we need a multi vendor plugin so I will choose Dokkan as my multi vendor platform so I will install the free version of Dokkan Lite so I will follow the same process so just uh, type Dokkan Lite on the search bar So after activating Dokkan plugin, uh, there will be a setup wizard for the admin. So the site owner needs to configure the Dokkan. So first of all, I need to uh, set the story URL. I will keep it default. And if you are using a map on the store page, then configure the Google Map or Mapbox API. Insert the API on that field. So I will continue and uh, I will just uh, set my commission as percentage and I will set 10% uh, as my admin commission and also I will allow vendor to change the order status and also uh, I need to set up the withdraw method for the vendor so I will just uh, enable bank transfer and I will set the order uh, status for withdraw as completed so uh, after that I think um, my store will be ready to go I will go back to the dashboard so I think uh, in uh, we I have completed the uh, setup for the admin and now I think I need to choose a good theme so I will install a good WooCommerce compatible theme uh, in that case I will choose Astra as it has lots of free templates so uh, add a new theme from your theme uh, menu and just search uh, Astra on the search bar okay so I will just uh, install Astra now I click on the install button and then it will install automatically uh, you can choose uh, most of the WooCommerce compatible theme uh, with token so if you have any other recommendation or if you have any other theme compatible theme which you have already on the website or if you have purchased from theme forest so uh, i will now uh, install some dummy data uh, from the theme so go to the theme option and i will just uh, install the starter template plugin and i will choose elementor because the template i have selected uh, has elementor so uh, there are lots of template as you can see so you can choose any of these as per unit so i will just select brand store uh, i will just uh, import the full site uh, not the only home page so it will uh, import the all kind of data from the demo so just run the importer and it will automatically import all of the data My import uh, has been done already so let's visit the site and you can see uh, it has all the data as far as the demo content and I did not uh, have to do anything just I have imported the dummy data and my site is almost ready now what I will do uh, I will just register a vendor as I have configured the admin panel already so uh, from the WooCommerce my account page your user will be registered as a vendor on your marketplace and they just need to put the email address and password first name last name and also they need to uh, insert the shop name and shop url to register as a vendor 
one thing I need to uh, clear here that the shop URL needs to be unique uh, so when you are trying to register a vendor uh, the shop name or the shop URL needs to be uh, unique here uh, after registering the setup wizard for the vendor uh, coming up now I need to just uh, insert some data for the address and other things as a vendor I will complete the setup wizard as it say uh, right now I need to uh, set the payment uh, if I need to make any withdraw uh, I will skip this part for now so my store is ready uh, let's go to the vendor dashboard so this is a very uh, clean and unique uh, UI as a vendor and the vendor can easily upload a product uh, from his front end. Uh, let's see how you can create a product as a vendor. Just uh, type the product name and I need to insert a price and if I have a discount price then I will insert the discounted price here. I will select a uh, feature DMS for the product. So you can also add your gallery images for the product uh, as uh, I'm skipping it right now. Uh, after adding the product, it will redirect me to the product edit page where you can uh, get more fields like uh, to insert short description and product description. You can write uh, long description uh, on the description field with some html or if you have any images for the product and also you can uh, enable stock management for the product you can input the quantity of stock and also you can decide if you will allow your customer to place an order if the product doesn't have any stock so I will just uh, skip and I will save the product. Uh, you can see that the product status is pending review. That means the admin needs to approve the product. So from the back end, uh, I'm approving the vendor product. I will just uh, click on the quick edit and then I will just uh, change the status uh, to publish. So I'm done and now you can if you if you read, move to the vendor dashboard the product is published and it's uh, ready for sale I think that's really easy uh, now what I will do I will just uh, try to show you how the store page looks uh, when you visit a vendor store so this is the basic store page uh, of a vendor uh, you can see there is a banner section and products showing uh, underneath the banner and this is the shop page of your marketplace uh, you can short by many filter option uh, this is the product I have just uploaded now I will just uh, register as a customer and I will make a test purchase to show you how the commission and the withdraw will work for the vendor so after completing the registration uh, I will try to uh, visit the shop page that's that's the product I have uploaded here so I'm just clicking on it and and also uh, what you can do you can also uh, show the store list uh, on the website you can create a menu with the store list page so uh, uh, if you uh, visit the store list page then you will see that uh, all the stores of your uh, marketplace I have only one store so let's visit the store and here 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 it is I click on the product uh, yeah then I will just add to cart and I will just post it to checkout but I did not set any payment gateway yet because I wanted to show you how it looks without any payment gateway so I will move back to the admin panel uh, to enable a payment gateway so that I can accept payment from the customer uh, as I'm configuring the site in offline so I can only enable a offline gateway but if you if you website is live you can use most of the WooCommerce compatible gateway with token uh, like as PayPal Stripe or any gateway which is compatible with WooCommerce but make sure that your payment gateway is uh, non-adaptive 
I have just enabled cash and delivery for now to complete the purchase. After saving the settings, uh, I will try to reload the checkout page again. Yeah, so uh, let's reload the page. I, I hope it will work. Yeah, uh, it's working. Two gateways are showing bank transfer and cash and delivery. I will just choose uh, cash and delivery and I will just uh, complete the billing details with some dummy data. So let's place the order. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm selecting cash and delivery and I'm placing the order as a customer. Okay, I have successfully placed the order and here are the order details uh, with the item number, item price and the payment method. Uh, also, a customer can easily check their orders from his own My Account page. Uh, let's visit the My Account and on this menu, all the orders will be listed. Uh, yeah, the, the order status is now processing because uh, the product is not shipped yet. So, I think uh, vendor needs to ship the product and then they can change the status to complete so let's uh, edit the order from the vendor panel i will click on the order id then it will show me the order details here a uh, vendor will be able to see all the details the price and the billing address and also order notes if i want i can write something for the customer that i will deliver the product tomorrow and also Dokan has a option to uh, insert shipping tracking number for the vendor if I ship uh, with any particular shipping carrier like if I am uh, shipping through DHL then I can insert the tracking number here and uh, where it, and how when it has been shipped uh, insert the date and just uh, this tracking details will be sent to the customer as a order note the customer will get an email uh, with this data so that's that's pretty simple and pretty easy uh, without investing any money I think and as I ship the product so I will just change the order status to complete it okay so as I have completed the order I think uh, right now my earning will show the commission I have earned from this sale so the order amount was 12 and here the vendor earned 10 because the admin commission was 10 percent so uh, the vendor earned 90 percent of the amount so i will uh, set up the payment gateway right now to send a withdraw request for withdrawing my money You can see that uh, I can the vendor can now easily uh, send a withdraw request to the admin to withdraw his money. So if if I go to the backend, uh, the admin can also view the order from the backend. Uh, you can see that the order ID. So you can see the vendor name on the order list. So let's see the vendor dashboard. I think there will be stats to show the order count and the commission earning for the admin uh, on the at a glance section i can see that i am seeing the net sales and the commission earned from that sales uh, so let's make a withdraw request right now to the admin i will withdraw my full amount 10.80 and i i am selecting bank transfer that i am requesting my admin to send the money to my own bank account so the would request has been sent and it's uh, right now on pending review the admin can check all the withdraw request from the withdraw menu of Dokan. here you can see the request has been arrived uh, and also i can insert some note uh, for myself that i have paid manually this payment to vendor bank account uh, one thing needs to be noted that the uh, withdraw amount needs to be paid manually if you approve that doesn't mean that it will arrive to the vendor bank account automatically you need to physically visit the bank or you can do bank transfer from your bank account 
so my withdraw has been approved and i vendor got the money already you can see that current balance is zero right now 